Hello everybody and welcome from the Journey Museum and Learning Center. My name is Christine, I'm the Education Coordinator here and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple toy just like the Pioneers had. The Pioneer children had a lot of fun making button spinners and the nice thing about this is you only need two items. A button and a piece of string. Now I have a pro tip for you today. If you get kite string, it does work better, especially if you are a beginner, because kite string has a lot more elasticity in it. However, any type of string will work, it just will take a lot more practice. And perhaps even after you practice with the kite string, you can move on to a different type of string and make it more difficult for yourself. So how do you make a button spinner? Pretty simple. You take a piece of string, I cut mine to be about two feet long. You don't have to measure it, you just kind of roughly guess. And then you'll take your button. Now to make easy viewing here on the camera, I made a paper button just to show you how to loop this through. And it is really quite simple. Take one end of your string and loop it through one hole of the button. Bring it through. When you've brought it through, take that string and swing it back and go through the second hole. It should look like this. When the other two ends of the string meet, just simply tie them around and make a little knot. Notice here, with my button spinner, I have the one end that looped around and the tied end. Now with this button, what I chose to do was I used paint pens that I got at a local craft store and I used the paint pens to color up my button just to make it a little bit more fun. At camp last year when we did this, we had a lot of fun making designs our buttons and once we started spinning them, we had fun to see what the designs would look like. So you will take your string and loop it around your fingers like I have and start to wind it up. Now if you have troubles winding it, one thing you could try is keeping one finger still and just moving the other side to wind it up. But for me now, it does work better to use both hands. Once it's wound up, I start to pull it. So again, I'm gonna wind it and pull it. As I pull, that button starts spinning around. Sometimes it takes a couple of little practices here spinning around and around and now my button's spinning and I have my button spinner. You too can have fun with this at home and it is just like a fidget spinner just hours of fun it seems like. So thank you for joining us here at the journey and have fun making your own button spinner at home. 